What's cracking YouTube? Back with another video, man. Basically, what we got going on today, man. Man, we upgrading the dry shelf on the boss shit. I took it out last night when I got off work. It was too dark to be trying to record, so. Would have made it over here to go for it to uh, stand for right, That uh -oh, camera went dead. But man, somebody got a grand national over here, bro. Oh, nice grand national right here, bro. But yeah, like I said, man, we're gonna try to upgrade the uh, dry shell, man, because basically, dry shell that I got, just the stock one that was shortened a little bit. And I was like, and I talked to a couple of my partners. And they were like, nah, but you need to upgrade that dryer shell. And which, I ain't know, so. My boys let me know what was going on, told me I need to upgrade that song gun. So, hey, I went to the crib, snatched it out. Y'all see, it's just still the stock one, but shorten a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to get it all uh, upgraded or whatever. To hold some more power, cause like they were selling me, man, that one right there I ain't rated for nothing like a hundred and something horsepower. Gotta understand it's for a 305 motor, so man, let me go up in this shop and try to see if I can get something going, man. I'm gonna get back with y'all in a few minutes. I just wanted, like I said, a second opinion. This is a three and a quarter, and yeah. dropped down two and three quarter here. Okay. Um, and then like a three inch dry chest rated for probably six hundred range um, and it all depends on the length the longer you go the bigger diameter you got to go to you know keep that same strength so but in this this length i would i wouldn't be afraid to put 600 to it um, anything more than that i say uh, you want to step up a little bit so you think i should still just go with this one with a lot of horsepower, but uh, stock guys shed a whole lot more than that. Um, they had uh, went with the stock one and they put their car on a dyno and it came up through the floorboard. Yeah, it broke and came up through the floorboard. So I was like, man, huh? Yeah, it came through the floor of his car. So I was like, well, shoot. This one here. What size is this one in? That's a three and a half. That's, three and a half. that's the diameter we would go. Yeah, that's why I painted it when it was raining. Yeah. Yeah. Blushed real bad. Pretty big, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the diameter we would build it. Yeah. Well, how much power can one like this hold up to? Three and a half inch. You could, you could definitely put eight hundred plus horsepower to it. We for thousand horsepower cars. Come on, come on, there's something got thousand horsepower. We build that three inch 083, it's a little thicker too. Yeah. That's probably 065, which is up there. Okay. It was already my horsepower in the problem. Ooh. Alright, guys. We're finna get that new one built. We're about a three and a half inch. That's not nasty, boy. I ain't gonna stand. It's a little too expensive for me. But yeah, man, we finna head back on to the crazy Say gonna be, it say it gonna take them done, but 24 hours do that dry shot or whatever. But I'm gonna make sure. I just wanted to go with something new, man. Them boy was telling me that it could break and all this and that. So I'm like, shit. 
Let me get a new one. Let me get a new one and get rid of the stop one. I mean, y'all get in the comment section. Like I said, man, appreciate my boy uh, D off of Southern Chevy TV. He the one let me know him and uh, another guy named Big Chop. I think his name Big Chop. Man, them boys let me know what was up. Like I said, man, if I'm doing something wrong, man, y'all get in the comment section, man, or y'all get in my inbox, let me know. It don't make me mad. It just made me be like, okay, well, shit, I need to go do this. Because I ain't acting like I know everything. Because I don't. I ain't even going to lie. I'm putting this car together learning. I'm going to keep it all the way G with you. Because most of the stuff that I'm putting on it, I, I researched everything anyway. But we're probably picking it back up. Uh, he said it could be tomorrow. Probably tomorrow or either Monday. So... I get back with y'all when the dry shell come back. This is probably when that video come out. Cause ain't no point in making two. So I get back to y'all when I uh, pick the dry shell back up, man. Peace. Cracking YouTube. Back. It's the next day. Show y'all the dry shell, man. They did a lot better than what we had. It's a pretty big one too. Pretty big one. Buddy told me hold up about 800 horses, so. Pretty big one, pretty nice size on this one, so. Boy, when it got me old creep a while ago, too, man, shit. Laying on the ground, hair getting dirty and stuff. Let me go get the receipt and see uh what size it is. I think it's a three and a half inch uh, tubing that it is. I think it's three and a half inch, that other one. Wasn't nowhere near that big, that stock one. But they told me that that stock one can hold up to about 600 and some horses, but I don't know. Got everything new. Just wanted to go with some more new stuff, man. Plus, like I said, my other guys told me, man, upgrade that dry shell before it turned out bad. I heard a couple stories about them messing up people's cars, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this three and a half inch tubing. Yeah, three and a half inch tubing. And uh it cost me 320 for this dry shell. I actually got it back yesterday too. I dropped it off yesterday morning about nine o'clock. They called me back by two. I couldn't go get it, so I let my partner win and pick it up for me. So I actually got the dry shell back in one day, but this next day it was nighttime. I went for the fool with it. So Got this new little creeper right here that I just finished putting together. I think this thing right here gonna be pretty nice. Stretch out the whole thing. So I'm gonna lay on this. I'm gonna get back up onto this car and try to put this dry shot back in here. I'm gonna turn y'all back on in a minute. All right, guys. Let's see, can I get you up onto the car? Y'all can see this the new dry shell. I got it in too. I actually want that hard to get in, but got it in, man, and all bolted in. Yep. I think I'm gonna go with them QA ones on here too. Y'all see the upper double adjustable? And these the lower right here. They double adjust came from trick chase. But that's the upper right there. Close everything else. That's it guys. We upgraded the dry shelf. Got the dry shelf in here. So probably tomorrow, man. I got some running around to do in a minute. Tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and put them new injectors on there. My proportion of valve done came, so. I'm gonna slide back over Lord, get that uh, wheel wheel mouse cylinder. Gonna put it on, put the mouse cylinder on. Then we ready. We'll be ready for thirst. We're gonna go on and get tuned up. But uh, damn, my door lock. I was gonna show y'all the fuel injector, but I'll show y'all on the next video. Next video, we're gonna be putting the fuel injectors in anyway. We got the new ones in. They came from fuel injection, fuel injector connection. They were about. Ain't like 450. So 
like I said, man, I'm gonna get back with y'all on the next video. We just had to upgrade the drive shaft, make sure everything's secure. So, as y'all know, if y'all been following the build, that's a fully brand new drive train, motor, transmission, rear end, and drive shaft, and exhaust. So, once we get this last tune, we're gonna hit the road and go on a little ride, road trip, make sure everything's secure. Y'all know me, I gotta make sure she's gonna ride good. Then we off to the paint. Well, we're gonna get the wheels put on, then we off the paint. But I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video, man. It'll probably be tomorrow. So y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll holler at you on the next one. Peace.